Welcome back to Leicester and the National Championship final. It's half time. The Steelers from Warrington lead the Titans from London 2 0. So, can the Steelers hold on for the whole match? They went ahead last time against the Titans and they lost. In their group qualifying match, the Steelers also went ahead. In the end, they had to settle for a draw. Right now, they lead the Titans 2 0. And some harsh halftime words for the Titans from Captain Eddie Joseph. It's not only the back. No, what I'm saying is, Cal, we, it's bound to happen. We're just defending all the time. They're going to score goals, isn't they? Let's go play some hockey. What happened to our game? That ain't how we play. That ain't how we play. Alex Romero, number two for the Titans, hoping to set up another attack down the line to Itchy. Itchy across to Mo on the other side. Mo shot. Hits the top of the backboard and flies away into the crowd. That'll be a free hit for the Steelers. Willie Bethel takes it. Off the stick of Mo. Rodney Roberts, the general in the back of the net. A bad free hit by the Steelers. Rodney Roberts from just inside the Steelers half. Makes no mistake, here he is, he winds up, and the shot beats Glenn Worrell, who couldn't see it. Come on, Steelers! The general against David Brooks. Jez Wilson through, and there's Bethel on the left-hand side. Can't control, do we have a trip there? Jez Wilson. Interference in for two minutes. Jez Wilson, number four for the Steelers, has to sit it out. The Titans now have a man advantage. Can they pull back their one goal deficit with this man advantage? The general. Bethel. A good stick tackle. Bethel. Itchy down the line to Mo. Mo. And it's another penalty against the Steelers. This time, John Cooper. Another minor penalty. That was rather silly at such a crucial stage in the match. To push your man in the boards like that from behind. So the Titans now have a two-man advantage. Here's a chance for Brooks. Sticked away by Dion Lawrence. Curly G. The Titans looking very tired. They've had the more difficult of the matches. to get here to the final. Jez Wilson in front, sticks it in. No one standing on him. Jez Wilson right in front of the goal. Puts the Steelers two goals into the lead again. And the ball comes behind the net. Willie Boy Bethel plays it out in front. Jez Wilson, no one on him, puts it in. The score, the Street Force Titans won the New World Steelers three. Face off right hand sign, Jugger against Willie Boy Bethel. It's Brooks who comes away with it from the Steelers. Rodney Roberts, the general, winds up a shot! What a shot from the general! Nothing Glenn Worrell could do about that. Rodney Roberts' his second goal of the final. What a brilliant goal. Straight in front of the goal. It moved so fast that Worrell didn't have a chance to move until the ball was in the back of the net. It's the Titans two, the Steelers three. Just over six minutes to go in this final. So Mo, a shot held well by Worrell. Here comes Brooks, number six. Broken up, though. Itchy. Archibald and Dean Clark on the ball. Dean Clark. And there's a penalty for holding against Archibald. Bad time to do that. Colin Archibald, number 11 for the Titans, in the box for two minutes for holding. Just as the Titans look to be coming back into the match. Rodney Roberts, the general, beats his man. 
Beats Twiz, plays in the middle to Mo, and he puts it in the net, short-handed. The equaliser from Mo. Rodney Roberts does all the work on the right and plays it to Mo in the middle. Rodney Roberts here on the ball. On the right, beats Robert Twiz, puts the ball in the middle, and Mo has an easy target to tie it off the score the Titans three the Steelers three there wasn't any missing that I mean he puts his sights on locked in took the shot fired and it was a goal and a shorthanded goal they had one fewer player on because of the penalty to Colin Archibald he won't be feeling so bad now about sitting in the box less than a minute to go it's all tied up at three all To face off Rodney Roberts wins it but loses out to Brooks Brooks tries to sweep it past Itchy but he can't do that he has a shot instead behind the goal Willie Bethel tied up by Eddie Joseph both looking for the ball here's Itchy for the Titans plays it forward to Romero Eddie Joseph to Brooks he's got the man free but it's under Romero's body he doesn't know where it is still there Lawrence sweeps Oh, 55, plays it to Rodney Roberts on the right, beats his man, beats another man, but loses control. 16 seconds, Brooks has a shot. Well stopped by Eddie Joseph. Off the boards, here's a chance for Rodney Roberts, the general over to Mo Christian, seven seconds, here's Itchy. And a chance for one last shot. No, that's the end <laughs> of the game. The end of regulation time. It's all tied up. Three goals apiece. Now we'll find out who has more stamina. After extra time, it was still all square, so it's on to a sudden death playoff. In all other matches, it would go to a penalty shootout at this point, but this is the final where they play to the bitter end, and that could take a long time in coming. They play five minute periods, with no rest in between, just time to change rounds. And tension is mounting because the 1988 National Championship Final will be decided by the next goal. Dean Clark and number six, David Brooks. David Brooks only as far as Eddie Joseph. Off Worrell, Eddie Joseph Archibald, a stick save, and he grabs it at the second attempt. Colin Worrell, heroics in the Steelers' goal. The Steelers seem to be under a lot of pressure. The Titans are not letting off. They're staying there, keeping them pressed down, protecting their gold, not letting them make a break. All but here comes one mistake. Here comes Brooks in a breakaway. Willie Boy, Bethel, Brooks. Jez Wilson has a chance to Brooks. He loses out. Where's the ball? Hit back by the general. Didn't know what he was doing. Eddie Joseph, a chance for a break from the Titans. Off the boards, all the way down to Dean Clark. He loses it out to Archibald. In the middle to Mo. He's alone. And he can't put it in. Mo, number 55, thought he had the winner there. Eddie Joseph, to the right-hand side, Dean Clark plays it only to the general, though. The general across to Mo, another chance. His shot just wide. And back to Mo, once again, saved. Number 55, Mo, cannot believe it. The ball's still in play, Mo's got it. He needs someone out in front to the general. The general tries to play it back. The general all the way across to Curly G, who looks tired. Curly G plays it in. Archibald, his shot, what a save! Oh, just over the top! Glenn Whirl just over the top from Colin Archibald. Eddie Joseph. Tries to kick it into the middle. And the first sudden death period is over. They have now played 50 minutes of street hockey. Rodney Roberts, the general, number 99 over the ball, plays it back to Itchy, but he can't control it off the boards. Willie Boy, Bethel to the other side. Romero down the line to Jugga, puts it back to Rodney Roberts, the general, deflected off Roberts with his stick, and beneath the legs of Worrell, in between the legs of Worrell, and the deflection ends the 1988 championships. What a way to go, Robert Twiz, 
deflects it past his own keeper. So the Titans win it for the third time. The spectators go wild. What a thrilling final. It's the Steelers out for the counts as the Titans receive the Tenants Super Trophy. For this poster on street hockey, write to the BSHA, P.O. Box 567, London SE1, 8DB.